In this video, you're going to learn how to add a cursor trail to your website. This is a fun little project you can do. Now watch what happens when I put my cursor on here. See, as I move my cursor, it has trailing cursor behind it. Now this is very easy to do. There's already a script written for you. I've included this script in the package for you. This is from a public website. I didn't write it, but I included it in the script for you for your convenience. So let's go and modify a website. Now this can be done on absolutely any website. So all you have to do is open the source file. And you can do that either with the raw HTML. If you know how to do that, just using Notepad. Or you can open it with a web editor. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open it with a free web editor called Composer. Okay, so here it is here. So all we have to do is go to where it says source. And then what we need to do is go to the package that you downloaded. And in there you will find a document called code. So open that up in Notepad. Okay, here it is here. And you'll see in header and in body. So all you have to do is where it says in header here, grab a hold of this and copy it. Then go back in here and right before the end of the header. Okay, you see where it has this slash head there? Just put it right there. Okay, and then go back to the code. Then just grab everything that says in body here and copy that and then paste it right underneath the body tag so in this case it would go here normally you would just see body and then probably with another with the end on it like that in this case the body tag is longer it has a bunch of style and font information so it goes right after that so we'll just paste it in there and we'll save. Okay, we're done with our web page. Now you'll also find an image in there that needs to be uploaded to your server. It's called cursor. Okay, and it's just a picture of a cursor. You see it sitting there on the screen right here. So that's all that is. So you need to upload that as well to your server. So go to your FTP account or to your cPanel and upload your new web page and this cursor into the same spot. So if they're in the root directory, you need to upload them both there. If they're in a subfolder, you need to upload them both there so that they're both in the same place. I'm going to go ahead and do it with my cPanel. Just go to File Manager. And then on this server, it's in public underscore HTML, so I'll go there. And then I just go ahead and I upload my file here so I click upload files then I browse and find it on my computer okay so first I'll upload cursor actually I found cursor first now I'll go and find my web page since I actually have them on two different spots on my computer but you might want to put your web page and the image into one folder so it's easier to upload okay so I'll go and browse for my website now Okay, and I brought it in. Now all we do is we click the little box here that says Overwrite Existing Files. We click Upload. And it's uploaded. So now, if we go back to the web page, and then we move our cursor around, we should see the cursor trail behind it. So let's do that. And there it is. Our trailing cursor. So that's how easy it is to add a little bit of fun to one of your websites. Now, if you find for some reason that it isn't working, it may be because your web editor has messed up the code. In that case, what I would do is rather than use a web editor, I would just open the website using Notepad. So to do that, all you have to do is go to the file right click and do an open with and then notepad 
Okay, and then you get, really, you get the same thing that's in the code window of your site. So what we do is we just look for the same thing here. Here's where the head tag is, and this is the code we pasted in, in our web editor. And then we look underneath the body tag, and here's where our script is pasted in here. So that's all you have to do with that. If it's not working, you can try it this way, or you can just do it this way if you're comfortable without using a web editor. Okay, so that concludes the video on how to add a trailing cursor to your website.